Hey guys, welcome back, Snick 500. It's uh, a different game that you guys haven't necessarily seen unless you catch, have caught me streaming it from time to time. This is Zeepkist. It is a soapbox derby game, and uh, I've gone pretty far through it. I am not by any extent the best at this game. However, it is a lot of stupid fun. It's you against the track, and I'm going to run through the first oh, 12 or so adventure levels for you. We're going to go one uh run through each so you can uh, see these levels and maybe get an idea of how you could be doing these but uh, let's get started first off level number one this is a uh, super easy overall race to do you just kind of want to stay low as much as you can Get through the checkpoint, cut left. Keep as much speed through there as you can. Now, this is not the way to get the fastest through this. There's a, a bunch of shortcuts that I'm not necessarily good enough to show you every time. I've done some of them, but there's a 41, which is, uh, it's not quite the, the developer time. But um, it's a goal time. So uh, for one through, not too bad. Move on to track two. This one is so just technical. It's basically one sharp right-hand corner. This is not going to be a great time. But we will finish it. And we're through. Yeah, we're a second off my best time already oh. and going slow. But uh, 25.19, not terrible. Another gold time as we go. So we go on to level number three. This one, it's uh, a little bit longer, obviously, than the last one. Uh, and it's, uh, again, just uh, you want to keep as much speed as you can going through all these little downhill little sections here. A couple of different places that you can uh, gain some, cut some corners and gain some speed, like uh, cutting across the grass there. And go through here, a little uh, right over the moguls. Want to stay low. Yeah, I'm a second. I'm a second off my best time right now, but I'm not trying to break times. I am trying to show you guys what these tracks look like and what is possible. In order to play this game, now there's a hard cut there that you can do across the grass. I am not near good enough to pull it off to keep any speed going forward. And there's a 109. Not a great time. Gold time. Past the level. That's what we're trying to do right now. Not trying to get author medals. All right, guys. This one has a huge skip. Uh, you would take a left here, jump off the end. There's no checkpoints on this map, so it's really easy to do. But I'm not going to show you that here. Uh, this is all about just showing you guys these tracks. Dodge all the flowers, make the corner. The uh, arrows are little boosters to give you a little bit more speed through some places. And we're coming up on the end. Yeah, obviously way, way longer than what the normal time is. In fact, it's a several metal. metal. Take the cheese. It's significantly faster. All right, that's four. Let's get to number five. 
Uh, this one gives you the first idea of wall riding and first person mode. Uh, you go through that checkpoint, you immediately get kicked into first person mode, and you're riding a wall. This is all about keeping your speed. Little wall ride there at the end, 19. Not a great time. Uh, I've obviously gone faster, but for showing the track, perfectly happy with that. All right, uh, moving on to number six. This one's got a bunch of different wall rides and a bunch of different places that uh, you can try to make up some time on some stuff. You don't want to go all the way up there. I went way too high. I'm going to stay low in this corner and then cut across, keep as much speed as possible, catch the boosters, little bump on the wall, not that big of a deal. Now this one, there's a little bit of brake there, just, oh, way too much brake, skidded my tires. This will not be a great time. But again, you're just seeing the track. That's The goal here is so you can see these tracks. Ugh. Gold medal time. Wow, I, it'd be nice if I could get one author medal, me, author medal to show you. Uh, 103 is the author on this one. This one's got a lot of different ways that you can attack it. Um, it's a relatively longer track. I think it's what, a minute is what the time is on it? Minute three? Keep on as much traction there. It's better. Go down here, get the wall ride up and around. Oh, it's got this one's got the first tube as we go that way. Up and around again. You lose a lot of traction on the grass. Yeah, we're not going to break 1 minute on this, but 103, gold medal. Close. We're, uh, what? One second away from my personal best. Okay. I mean, not terrible. It was, but, you know, something we can live with. Uh, track 8. Uh, this shows you the advantage of arms up. Now, I'm going to show you how everybody does this one, uh, as opposed to fighting with it. The idea being that you go arms up and down and up and down to try to get the momentum going correctly to gain more speed. Everybody else just goes, cuts to the side to get through. Hey, there we go. Author metal, right? Author metal right there. So now you've seen one. This one's got a lot of little technical things to it, including this opening which is a blind wall ride U-turn. Lost a lot of speed there, but I'm going to hit that booster and get going again. Cut the inside and deal with some cats that are going to wander around. That You hit them, they're going to bonk you around. Nice soft little left turn here. Hard right into the finish. 52. Gold time. All right, so that's nine. Here's ten. All right, this one you're going to get to know pretty well uh, because they actually use this beginning on another track later in Z in adventure mode. I don't know if we'll get that we won't get that far today, but uh, nice easy little right turn here. Uh, cut through the checkpoint. Wait for the corner. Cut the corner. Uh, 
left, hard right, into the booster, up the wall a little bit, down the wall, up the wall. Nice little pipe there. I, you can go up and around to, uh, I don't want to say use, use your momentum a better way, but it's definitely a strategy you'll see some of the pros do. I, not one of the pros. All right, this one you want to go up high enough so that you can cut over, but don't want to go all the way up and lose all of your speed. Just like that. Go to the middle and through the finish at 113. Gold medal time. It's like there's a theme here. <laughs> uh, track 11. Uh, this one should look familiar. It's a uh, very similar track. In fact, it's the same track as earlier with a couple of changes. It's a lot harder, though, because it's got these boosts. Those hay bales make it very hard to do this because you hit them, you lose a wheel. I am not going to try to get a good time here. I am just going to try to finish the track so you guys can see it. I have spent lots of time on this track trying to get a good time. This is way slow, but you hit the boosters. You come around. Yeah, seven seconds past my best time. Bronze medal. That <laughs> tells you how much slower I went to make sure I could get through it for you. Uh, track 12 here. This one's got a lot of technical stuff to it. Uh, some stuff on the sides of the track you got to avoid, like those hay bales. But, uh, again, we're not going to worry about getting a, a great time here. I'm just trying to show you the track so you guys can kind of see how a playthrough of it looks. Going to do some braking here to make this corner. Avoid those hay bales. Get this boost. Up and over through the checkpoint as close to the edge as possible. Don't want to hit those hay bales. If you hit a hay bale, you lose a wheel. Uh, and it doesn't kill you, but it definitely doesn't make you stronger. <laughs> uh, nice little S turns here. Hit the boost. Back and over. Th into the finish. With a time. Goal time. Nothing to sneeze at. And track 13. Uh, this will probably be our last one tonight. This is not one of my favorite tracks. I know a lot of people love this track. Uh, I think there's even a skip on it because there's no checkpoints whatsoever. But uh, this is basically all pipes all the time. Minus these sections like this to keep you on your toes. Now we go left here through this one, a little left and then a right. And into the end for a silver time. All right, guys, that's the first 13 levels. Uh, why did I go 13? Because it's about 10 minutes, give or take a little. Uh, but that's Eekist. Highly, highly recommend this game as a stupid, fun game to play from time to time. Uh, that's it for this one, Snick 500. See you next time.